Hey guys, I'm Nathan down at Andrew Chevrolet and today we're going to be taking a look at our brand new 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 ZR2 Bison Edition. And now today we're going to be taking a look at both the beauty and the beast. Now starting out at the front of this vehicle, what differs from the Bison compared to any other Silverado or truck on the market today is it's actually going to have a boron bumper which is both the strongest and the lightest uh, material to use for any kind of bumper on the market. We're also going to be getting some uh, iron recovery points as well, which are actually three times stronger than any other recovery point. As you notice too, we also have LED headlights this year as well. The ZR2 exclusive bow tie here and a lot of airflow coming from the grill and the hood of the vehicle as well uh, to keep that 6.6 .6 liter V8 engine cooled down. All right, guys, coming around to the side of the Bison, we're going to take a look at the wheels and the tires first. Now, first, looking at the wheels, we're going to have carbon flash painted wheels, and it's actually going to be on 35-inch Goodyear mud and terrain tires. And if you guys notice as well, uh, this Bison actually has the highest approach angle out of any Silverado HD on the market today. Chevrolet also gave us a 2-inch suspension lift straight from the factory as well, and What's really going to make this a ZR2 is actually going to be the front and uh, rear locking differentials as well, allowing, allowing the wheels to gain 100% uh, of the traction when the other one isn't fully on the ground, allowing you to never slip on the road and to provide that much more better of an experience off-roading. Here are the truck. We're going to be going over the multi-flex tailgate. And first, if you guys notice, uh, we actually do get the boron bumpers in the rear and iron recovery tow hooks as well. Uh, tow hitch is already installed as well. Uh, now taking a look at the rear multi-flex tailgate. Now right here, it's going to have the easy down tailgate. Works like any other tailgate. And there's actually going to be a second button right here. And what this is going to do is actually going to allow us a little step up for you, making getting in and out of this truck a lot easier. And now right here as well, you guys notice we actually have the roll-up tunnel cover as well. Bed liner is already installed and it is fifth wheel and gooseneck prepped already. As you guys notice, once you step inside, we have the beautiful two-tone interior uh, that's only available on the Bison. Uh, we also get some neon yellow stitching as well with leather seats. And now when we jump into the truck, everyone in the vehicle is going to be able to have heated seats and there is rear ventilation as well with both types of USB charging ports available as well. Alrighty guys, now that we're in the interior of the ZR2 Bison, we're going to be going over all the awesome technology features inside of this truck. So first and foremost, uh, my, probably my favorite feature, and it's pretty rare nowadays to find in a truck, is actually going to be the one panel sunroof. It does open up all the way as well and does provide a wind diffuser here, so it's not super loud in the truck at all. And now, if you take a look right here as well, we're actually going to get some active noise cancellation as well. Guys, I know this is a big engine, it's a loud truck, but once you're actually inside driving on the road, it's not loud at all because of that active noise cancellation. And now, both passengers do also get heated seats and AC ventilated cooled seats as well. The driver is going to get our great heated steering wheel. Uh, this is all-wheel drive as well, where you can interchange from two high, four high, and four low as well, or just keep it automatic for any given, given day. Now we also get Bose premium sound package in here as well, which is the best sound system on the market. Uh, both tow hitch mirrors can also be folded in via power as well. And now we also have American Expedition vehicles stitched into the seats. And we have the AEV floor mats as well. And every time you're getting, you're stepping foot into your new ZR2, you're gonna know exactly what you're getting into. Alrighty, and now we're gonna take a look at our 13 inch screen in the ZR2 Bison. And what we're gonna go over first is actually gonna be the camera system in the Bison. So, we do have a bird's eye view camera right here to the left as well, uh, a front and reverse camera. You can also see uh, from the side view mirror angles as well. You can zoom in on the tow hitch. You can also zoom in on the back uh, bed liner. And now this does also have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. And it does actually get a rear view camera in here as well, which you can have on or off. And it does have a couple of different safety features as well. There is automatic braking, uh, emergency braking. So at the last second before actually hitting that vehicle, there's a camera in the windshield. Uh, it's gonna enhance full braking mechanism faster than you can blink before you actually make that collision. We also have side uh, blind zone alerts as well, automatic headlights, automatic brights as well. 
uh, with lane keep assist. Uh, so if you start going outside the lanes, if you choose to have this feature activated, the steering wheel is actually gonna center you out right back in the center lane. Alrighty, and our 24 Silverado ZR2 Bison does feature the 6.6 liter V8 gasoline engine paired with the Allison 10 speed transmission we've been using for decades. Uh, this vehicle can also tow up to 16,000 pounds conventionally or 18,000 pounds using the gooseneck or fifth wheel prep package. Now underneath the uh, vehicle as well, there's five hot stamp boron skid plates as well, protecting the transfer case, uh, fuel tank, engine, and then the front and uh, rear locking differentials as well. Guys, you would literally need a diamond cutter to even dent those skid plates underneath this truck. That's why this uh, Silverado is the best and uh, baddest Silverado on the market today.